I asked you that about the reporting earlier today as it relates to the president, former president's documents um, as they associate with the January 6th attack on the Capitol right now. Can you help detail for us or characterize what types of documents these are that would be provided? Well, the documents are Trump-era White House records responsive to the select committee's request to the archivist. Um, and so there is a process uh, where the former president would have a period of time to assert executive privilege, and then the current president uh, and team would have a, a period of time to review uh, that request. Uh, but in terms of the details of them, I point to the select committee for more specifics. specifically in terms of what the White House is saying you can't grant, can't exert executive privilege over. Is it phone records, visitor logs? Is there any way, can you run us through that list? That is something I would point you to the committee on. Uh, go ahead. Jen, can you explain the standard of review then that the White House is undertaking? What would be something that this White House might consider privileged or should remain secret that a, this former president or any other former president should have the, the privilege that apply to which the privilege should apply? Are you talking about as it relates to January 6th or just in general? Well, just uh, well, specifically in this review, if there's any information you could share about the process that has been undertaken and more broadly. Well, the process that is is not is one that has been outlined through history and law is that the former president has the ability, not that there's a lot of past precedent here, I will acknowledge, um, has the opportunity to exert executive privilege uh, then, uh, to documents that uh, are in the National Archives. And then this president and this White House has the opportunity to review that. Now, I think it's important to note, and I know I said this, but I will just reiterate, this is, a, this is the first set of documents. So these will be reviewed on a case-by-case -case basis. Uh, and obviously, uh, you know, we will be responsive to the requests of the committee. I, I would like to note, just broadly speaking, that, um, you know, what this committee is investigating is not the normal course of government business, right? There is, a, as you know, and as all of you know, there are normal requests for documents, for information. Uh, there, are, uh, there are moments throughout history where presidents and White Houses have asserted executive privilege. We will continue to evaluate those on a case-by-case -case basis. But this committee is investigating a dark day in our democracy, an attempt to undermine our Constitution and democratic processes by the former president. And that context, I think, is important here, too.